Lahore is a delicious city, a mottled mess of vanishing history and new regimes. Lahore becomes ominous when you are away. Lahore becomes a quiet mirage, an odd spectacle hung in time that only moves how you want it to move. It only moves when you want it to move. It doesn't speak to you or wail for you, yet you write only about Lahore. You preserve it in your poetry. You suppress it in a verse. You capture it in the refrain of a poem. It's beating heart, it's howl and cries, it's chuckle. Yes, Lahore chuckles. The colonial drawing room in your mother's house. The pale light that slithered through the bedroom curtains. The moth your father captured in his palm when you were a child. And then he kissed the brown wings to show you that the moth was a friend. The horrid monsoon rains that killed the houseboy. How long? Can a stanza sustain the scuffling of a city? Hi, I'm Kanza Javed. I'm a storyteller, a novelist, and a reluctant poet, and I live in Lahore, Pakistan. This reading was from a short story, It Will Follow You Home, which is part of my second book titled What Remains After a Fire. Kitabo se aur shayari se mera bohot gehra aur bohot long standing ek relation hai. इस तरह है कि मुझे साइंस मैथ और बाकी सब्जेक्ट्स की इतनी समझ नहीं आती थी स्कूल में लेकिन मुझे जिस चीज़ की समझ आती थी वो थी लिटरेचर क्लासेस और राइटिंग इसी तरह हुआ कि ग्रेड सिक्स में सडनली माय स्कूल डिसाइडेड दैट वी शुड हैव ए क्रिएटिव राइटिंग कोर्स एंड ए न्यू टीचर एन आउटसोर्स टीचर वो सडनली हायर और क्लास में एक बहुत ऑमिनस सा स्ट्रेन सा एक एटमोसफेयर था बिकॉज वी डेंट रियली नो कि वट क्रिएटिव राइटिंग इज़ ऑल अबाउट बट दैट वॉज दी ओनली क्लास विच आई लॉन्ग फॉर थ्रू आउट द वीक इट वॉज वेर आई फेल्ट के आई मैटर्ड एज अ पर्सन आई मैटर्ड एज दैट लिटल गर्ल हु यूज टू सेट इन सिक्स ग्रेड हु डेंट मेक सेंस इन अदर क्लासेज लाइक साइंस एंड मैथ एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट एंड माई वॉइस मैटर्ड the characters i wrote about mattered the cities i wrote about mattered my grandfather's stories mattered so that is where i think i realized that i have this really sacred and holy relationship with the art and the craft of writing fiction ek safar hai ek voyage hai ek journey hai jo aap ek character ke sath lete hain as a reader to aap pehla safa kholte hain and the writer introduces you to a character और आप उस कैरेक्टर के पाँव में यू हैव टू वॉक फॉर द नेक्स्ट 300 हंड्रेड टू फोर हंड्रेड पेजेस और वो ऐसा कैरेक्टर हो सकता है जिसके शायद रियल लाइफ इवेंट्स और ट्रामास चाइल्डहुड साइड कैरेक्टर एक्सपीरियंसेस डीप डाउन आपसे रेजनेट करते हैं या कोई ऐसा कैरेक्टर हो सकता है जिससे आपने कभी ज़िंदगी में बात ना की हो लेकिन कुछ उसकी कैरेक्टर uh, में उसकी कुछ पर्सनैलिटी में आर राइटर ने कुछ इस तरह की कीमती कोई चीज़ रखी होती है जो डीप डाउन आपको टच करती है और फिर वो कैरेक्टर एक सफ़र पे निकल जाता है और वो एज अ रीडर एक राइटर आपका इमेजनरी हाथ पकड़ता है एंड यू गो थ्रू हिज लाइफ जर्नी द अप्स एंड द डाउन्स ऑल द डिफ़िकल्ट सिचुएशन वट एग्जैक्टली डज अ कैरेक्टर डू एंड बाई द एंड फिक्शन में एक आपको यूजली कुछ इस तरह की गहराई आपको महसूस कराता है राइटर कि आपको ख़ुद नहीं पता चलता कि उसने एक बहुत एक वैल्यूबल लेसन आपको टीच कर दिया होता है या किसी क्वेश्चन इफ़ यू हैव अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट ह्यूमन लाइफ अबाउट सोसाइटी अबाउट ट्रेडिशन कल्चर ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स दोज आंसर्स लाई विद इन फिक्शन बट द राइटर टीचेज़ यू ऑल ऑफ दैट इन अ लेस डाइडेक्टिक इन अ लेस जर्नलिस्टिक काइंड ऑफ अ वे through the eyes of one particular character so my first novel ashes wine and dust i started writing it when i was very young and it also came out when i was very young it was published it's about a story about a family a middle upper family in lahore and particularly it captures the life of the protagonist who is maryam amin it goes through the highs and lows of her life she tries to find out who she is um or उसका रिश्ता अपनी सिटी के साथ कैसा है कि लाहौर के साथ उसकी रिलेशनशिप क्या है अपने आप को ढूंढने के लिए वो 
चली जाती है अंडर ग्रैड प्रोग्राम करने के लिए स्टेट्स में एंड देन शी कम्स बैक एंड द सिटी हैज़ चेंज अ लॉट एंड देर इज़ अ लाइफ ट्रामा एंड अ बैगेज दैट शी इज़ कैरिंग फ्राम हर चाइल्ड हुड एज वेल एज प्रजेंट एक्शन में समथिंग हैज़ हैपेंड बाई राइटिंग मरियम अमीन्स कैरेक्टर आई वॉज एबल टू शेयर अ लॉट ऑफ इमोशनल बैगेज विच आई हैव बिन कैरिंग अबाउट माई चाइल्ड हुड इट्स जस्ट लाइक फिक्शन आपको एक थेरेपी और एक कथार्सिस का एक बहुत अच्छा मौका दे देता है कविटेड सा मौका होता है कि यू कैन एक्चुअली हाइड बिहाइंड अ कैरेक्टर एंड यू कैन अनलीश लॉट्स ऑफ रियल लाइफ म्यूजिंग्स रियल लाइफ लेसन एंड ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स creative writing or in particularly fiction writing is not given a lot of importance in pakistan and it's really sad because we have a lot of people who are really organic innate storytellers and they have amazing life experiences and a lot of people who are going through a lot of things because of the uh, socio political undertones the um, country is going through and um I think fiction classes are very necessary in every school in every middle school I think elementary school and college level it's a way of a therapy it's a way of catharsis and not just um, writing and emo- emoting on paper but also reading each other's work and giving each other constructive feedback and this is why when I moved back to Pakistan after my masters the first thing I wanted to do was start fiction workshops so I'm very lucky that I go to various schools and colleges and conduct these fiction workshops and I'm always so overwhelmed with the response and the fact that so many people from all the strata of society from backdrop and all kind of circumstances uh from homemakers who have left education and are raising children from 18 year old girls to um boys or who are into um uh tech and science and all of those things and also fathers and also people of all backgrounds actually come together in a room to workshop the stories that that they have written i never thought that i would get such a um powerful response if i start conducting fiction workshops so it has been shocking but at the same time not too shocking because growing up i knew and there were so many other creative writers around me when i was growing up in school and when i was um introduced to that creative writing workshop but they just disappeared as years go- went by and i i knew that that's just because there were lack of avenues and there were just lack of adventures when it comes to creative writing classes in pakistan so for all the aspiring and emerging writers a few uh, tips which i have actually amassed and learned over my years of writing and still learning and developing the craft is that you have to read a lot and you have to read literature from all around the world and you have to read good literature and bad literature and try to identify um what resonated with you what resonated with the kind of audiences that you're writing for and another thing is also to have the commitment and discipline which writing allows uh which writing commands because writing is an immensely solitary craft you literally have to lock yourself away for hours and hours and work on a book you have to work on a manuscript or work on a short story and it's a very lonely experience sometimes but after that you have achieved that manuscript that book that short story that novel you'll understand that it was such a necessary journey and it it transcends you it takes you out of this uh it's an out of body experience and the fact that your book or your short story has the ability to touch so many lives it's um it's going to be circulated all around the world it's going to land into um the palms of readers in different parts of the world and they're going to connect with some uh, element of that book it's it's a beautiful journey and it, it's a journey which is completely worth it mm-hmm.